Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It's time for an islands update video. So this is the sushi update that dropped last weekend. We've been a bit busy so this one's taken us a while. So let's get into it and let's look at the letter first. So you can see the detail of the update. So here we go, so they've added effects to 16 pieces of food, so they give you various different boosts, which we'll come round to. Uh, there's four different types of sushi, which are new foods. There is a new pond planter that you need to create two of the types of food, because you need to grow rice and seaweed. There is a new rice crop, and you can get this from Farmer Cletus in the hub. There is a seaweed crop which is quite a rare one, and you get that by fishing. Scroll down. We've got truffle pizza and truffle avocado toast. So they're quite cool, something actually to use black truffles for now. And there's quite a cool thing in one of the sidebars as well. There is an active quest bar, which is really cool. So it shows you how you're getting on against achieving the targets on all the quests. And then they've also added a cutting board and you need that to be able to create some of the new foods. So let's close that and let's get on with it. So let's firstly look, this is the status bar. So you can see I've currently only got two quests currently open, but it shows you what I need to do to finish off those quests. And as you move around the islands and you speak to all of the NPCs, this table will fill up with all the quests that you need to complete. So let's go and look at some of these new items. So first of all, let's go up to my workbench and we can see the new bits that you need to make. So let's open up the workbench and scroll down. The first thing we'll find is a pond planter. There he is. So this is for the rice and the seaweed. And as you can see, it doesn't need a lot, just stone, grass and water buckets. So quite a cheap new thing to make, makes it quite accessible. And then if we go down into the workbench section, the very last one is the new cutting table. Again, another quite easy one to get. You only need pine and iron and not really a lot of either. So let's go over and see what's in the cutting table. So this is the new cutting table, as you can see, with the sushi piled up on top of it. So let's open them up. And there's four things you can make in here. You can only make the ingredients that go inside the sushis that we'll see in a second. So there's cut tuna, which comes from a new fish you get from fishing. Uh, tuna seems to be a pretty rare fish. I'm only getting one or two each time I go fishing. Uh, then there's eels to cut up, uh, cut up red snappers and salmon which means you have to get your brown fishing rod back out again, the wooden one. So let's look at the cooking table. So you'll see in here now at the very bottom are the new foods but let's work our way down from the top. So here you can see now we've got some power-ups going on. So tomato soup that gives you a, a speeded up break speed by 20%. And then whilst we have jam sandwich. So if you eat this one while it's running, you get a 15% skill experience gain, which is quite good if you're going out and bashing mob bosses. Uh, let's go down and find the next one. Potato salad. So this one gives you a 10% crop seed yield. I've not seen any increased seeds yet, but then the only thing I'm really growing at the moment is the newer berries, So, and we know they're quite rare as it is. So let's pop down, uh, honey roasted carrots. So this one will give you a 50% chance for the mobs to drop coins when you beat them. Then we have candied apple. Uh, this gives you 20% reward luck when you're fishing. So this one, I would combine, we'll skip straight over to this one, the orange honeycomb. This gives a 30% chance of catching two fish in a go. 
So I think these are two of the most useful ones that you've got at the moment because the seaweed is so hard to get. I've seen it selling for like five million in the shops. So I've been fishing with both of these turned on at the same time. And every time I've been, I've got one or two pieces of seaweed and I've only been like four times so far. Then the one in the middle we skipped over is the lemon puff. And that one now gets you a 20% reward luck when you're mining. And deviled eggs. So they give you 25% mining drop yield, which is quite cool. Then we come on to the new bits, the totally new ones. Truffle avocado toast. So let's just open that one up. So you need your avocado toast first, and then you mix it with some black truffle. And that gives you a 20% farming drop yield. And then very similar to that one, we've got the truffle pizza. Again, just needs a pizza and then you add the truffles. And that gives you a 25% logging drop yield. Brilliant if you're trying to get hold of wood. We then have a dragon roll. So I think this is going to be one of the most popular ones too. So this one does need sushi and cut eel and avocados in it. So you're going to be growing more avocados here. And trying to catch more eels. This one gives you 25% reward luck in combat against the mob bosses so this makes this sort of a bit like having a captain's rapier and they are getting super expensive uh, philadelphia roll another one of the sushi ones this one gives you a 25 percent tree fruit harvest yield and then there's the sushi itself so you see here this is the one where we need the seaweed and the rice so you need these to make the other the other ones Uh, this one, I'm not quite sure on the pronunciation. Thai Nigri, maybe. Uh, so this one gives you a 10% more output when you're crafting food. So this one in particular, I've been eating before I've been making any of the special items in here now that actually give you a boost. Because then I'm getting 10% more when I'm creating them. And the final one that's in here, which I think is another quite cool one, is a tuna roll. Uh, I guess this is why the tuna is so hard to get, because this one is going to give you a 5% coin boost when you're selling to the merchants who live in the hub. So I think this is probably one of the most useful ones as well. So my top four would be the candy apple, the orange honeycomb, uh, the dragon roll and this tuna roll. And there is one that's not mentioned when you're in here because it comes from a cooked item. So if you're a mobile player, you are likely to miss this one because I certainly did because it's where I play normally. But today I'm on the computer and it's carrot cake. So the thing that you can't see is this pop up on a mobile. So this one gives you 15% more output when crafting in a carpentry station. So, don't know, not overly useful, but it's there if you are off making things. So then the other thing to mention about these is it does need a bit of a skill level. So in cooking, let's go down and find the new items. So they come quite late on. You see we're still going, we haven't got to them yet. So here we go, they start at level 63. So the sushi roll, the Thai Nigri, and the one that's hidden is the Philadelphia roll. And then at 66 we get the truffle pizza. 70 for the avocado toast and then the tuna roll and the dragon roll which are two of the most useful you need to get up to level 72 so there are easy ways obviously of getting up through here i would say one of the easiest ones is one of the easiest crops to grow is grapes just grow them they keep multiplying grow loads and loads and loads of them chop them down make them into jam it's a really easy way of getting that f cooking skill up faster. So let's have a quick run over and we'll see what the new crops look like. I'm quite impressed. I'm getting my skills down trying to play on a computer now, learning how to turn and everything. So these are the new crops. So these darker ones here are our seaweeds. You see, you get quite a few seaweed each time you cut them down. Let's plant it back in here. So, so far, uh, I've tried with the multipliers 
on and I'm not getting any free seaweed seeds at all. So these six that I've got are the ones that I've got from fishing. They're not multiplying. These rice, however, let me get it to go over there. You get a couple of rice and then you obviously get your rice seeds to put back in. So I bought myself 20 to begin with. Uh, but I wouldn't suggest doing that. So if I open up this chest here, you'll see I've got another 33 in here already. So they are multiplying quite quickly. Probably I'd say as quickly as berry seeds seem to appear. So my tip for rice seed, buy yourself a couple to get going and then just keep chopping them down and just, just wait a while and be patient and you'll have enough to be making tons of rice. Uh, easily enough that you'll need so don't bother wasting your coins on buying too many of them so that's it for this update guys um, very best of luck let us know which things you you're finding the most useful in this update see if you agree with us or not okay well enjoy guys and we'll see you on another update bye